Hello students, welcome to Ishwari Taniksha channel. This is Ishwari ma'am. And today in this video, we are going to study a trick to find metamers. Okay, so this is from the chapter structural isomerism for NEET and JE students. So for, before seeing the trick, first let us see the definition for metamerism. So metamerism arises due to difference in the nature of alkyl group present on a polyvalent functional group so you should know what is this polyvalent functional group so polyvalent functional group meaning is if a functional group or if an atom is present with two or more bonds example if oxygen is present in the chain so it will be connected with two bond so this bond will be connected to alkyl group and this bond will be connected to another alkyl group so here oxygen is called as oxygen is called as polyvalent atom polyvalent atom so why it is called as polyvalent atom because it is connected with two bonds so polyvalent atom should have two bonds or more than two bonds so that is the meaning of polyvalent functional group polyvalent functional group means it should be connected by two or more bonds two or more number of bonds so uh, take one more example suppose if i take cl cl is chloro group so chloro group you can connect to one alkyl group so see here how many uh, bonds are there with cl cl has only one bond so polyvalent uh, group means it should have two or more bonds but here there is only one bond so this is not a polyvalent atom oxygen is a polyvalent atom and chlorine is not a polyvalent group okay so that is the meaning of polyvalent so polyvalent atom and if it is a functional group having two or more bond we call it as polyvalent functional group so now i'll tell you the trick to identify whether it is a uh, metamer or not so what is the trick we will be using here so this is the trick so the trick is first find whether polyvalent group is present in the molecule or not so if it is present second you should check the number of alkyl groups on both the sides okay if it is different second uh, stage itself here itself you can say they, that they are metamers suppose if this is same if this is same only then you will go to the third step so in the third step pv is polyvalent group so polyvalent group the bonds you should see to, see, to which atom it is attached through this bond to which atom it is attached through this bond to which it is which atom it is attached so that we are going to check so using this trick in one minute we will be able to identify whether the given molecule is a metamer or not so let us take few examples and then check whether they are metamers or not so this is the first example so let us check this trick for the first molecule so here which is the polyvalent atom so here this will be the polyvalent atom sulfur so if sulfur is present we call them as thioether so this is a thioether so on both the sides you see alkyl groups so here this is alkyl group and this is alkyl group so first condition polyvalent group is present yes it is present second number of alkyl group should be different so let us see here alkyl group here it is one two so two alkyl groups are there here one two two alkyl groups are there and see here polyvalent atom and this is the alkyl group one and this side one two three three so whether the alkyl groups are same in both the molecule here it is two and two and here it is one and three so they are different alkyl group numbers are different therefore in this position itself we can say that they are metamers so here we can write 1 and 2 are metamers 
now let us check with the second molecule <clears throat> this is the second molecule and you can see c double bond o o so this is a ester functional group so this is the ester group and here this is the ester group so we identified polyvalent functional group so polyvalent functional group is present second number of alkyl groups so we need to check the number of alkyl groups on both the sides so here this is the alkyl group 1 2 2 carbon so this is the alkyl group 1 carbon here this is the alkyl group 1 carbon this is the alkyl group how many carbons 1 2 so whether it is different or same we need to check here it is 2 carbon 1 carbon here also 2 carbon 1 carbon they are same so here the number of functional groups are same so if it is same only then we are going for the third step what is that we need to check the bonds of the polyfunctional polyvalent functional group so now check the bond so this is the polyvalent group see the bond so this is the bond okay oxygen is connected to methyl group and here oxygen is connected to ethyl group is it different see once again oxygen is connected to methyl group this is methyl group and here oxygen is connected to ethyl group so connection is different here so o is connected to methyl and o is connected to ethyl they are different therefore they are metamers so here we can write 1 and 2 are metamers so here we are using all the three steps so next we will go for the third example so first identify the polyvalent functional group so nh and here <clears throat> nh and uh, count the alkyl group on both the sides so here it is 1 2 2 carbon and here it is 1 2 2 carbon so here you check 1 carbon and here it is 1 2 3 3 carbons so 2 and 2 in this molecule and here 1 and 3 in this molecule so second step itself you will get the answer number of alkyl groups are different so in these two molecules it is different isn't it here 2 2 and here it is 1 and 3 so they are different so therefore we can say there is no need to check the third point here second point itself we are getting it as different only here if you get same then only we are going for the third point so here we can write 1 and 2 are metamers so next coming to the fourth example so fourth example is a ketone c double bond o is a ketone so students this i'll give for you to work it out so check whether they are metamers or not so write your answer in the comment box okay so stay happy students have a good day bye i'll meet you in the next video bye bye